it's Morgan with Long Haul Lifesavers. In today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about what you need to know when making a reservation at an RV park. So there's a few basic things that you need to know about your own RV when you call to make a reservation. The first thing would be what type of RV. So is it a fifth wheel, travel trailer, class A, class C? What your length overall is, so from front to back. What you need for amperage, so 30 amp or 50 amp. In addition to those main things, you should also know how many slides you have and what year your RV is. So the reason for the slides is because some RV parks have a lot of trees and certain sites might not be able to fit dual opposing slide RVs. And also a lot of RV parks don't allow uh, RVs that are 10 years or older or they might have a 20 year rule, so you just wanna make sure and check on that. Some other questions that are really good to ask while you're making your reservation are their pet policies. So for us, for example, we have a Husky, and in some parks, she's considered an aggressive breed, so we're not allowed to take her. Another question that I like to ask every park is how many vehicles are allowed in your site? So some parks consider the RV and the tow vehicle to be two separate vehicles, so if you have an additional car that either follows along or is towed, that's considered an additional vehicle and might not be allowed to stay in the site and you might have to pay for extra parking. So most parks have a two person rule that can reside in the RV. After you add more than two people, so any additional person, is normally a three to five dollar charge per day. Some parks have monthly rates for extra people, so when you're making a reservation, make sure to let them know how many people are in your party. Because if you don't, that's a really easy way to get kicked out of an RV park. Other questions that we like to ask are, are we allowed to use an outdoor grill? Can we have a propane fire pit? Are we allowed to set up our little fence for our dogs? Um, can you have rugs or patio furniture? You always wanna make sure to ask. I know some people operate under the I'll do and hope for forgiveness type of method, but we prefer to get permission before we do anything. That way we don't cause any issues at a park that we're living at. One more important thing is can you wash your vehicle or your RV while you're in your campsite? This is a big no-no at a lot of RV parks, and that's because either they are paying for the water um, or it's it creates muddy sites and they don't want um, to create you know a mess for your neighbors and that type of thing. So always make sure you ask before doing so. A lot of the parks that don't allow you to wash your RV do, however, have a contact uh, information for you to be able to get a hold of someone that comes out with their own water truck and will wash the RV for you. So if you're someone like us, you're looking for monthly sites mostly and monthly sites oftentimes have metered electric so you want to ask making your reservation is electric included in your rate or do you pay for it separate if you do pay for it separate find out what the kilowatt rate is so typically it's between 12 cents to 17 cents and that will kind of give you an idea of what your electric bill will be for your budget if you're someone that can't back up an RV during your reservation making, you have to specify that to whoever's taking the reservation. Tell them, look, I don't know how to back up my RV or I'm not comfortable doing so. So that way you can make sure that they have a pull through available for you. Don't just come to the park and assume that one will be open. So the reason that I'm bringing all these things up in this video is because I can't post at a lot of RV parks that we stay at. And these are all questions that I ask customers coming to the park, you know, what size RV do you have or how many slides? and most of the time I get people saying Ugh, I don't know and they pull in and they have no idea what they have so we want to make sure that we put you in the right site I don't want to put you in a 30 amp site if you need 50 um, so just make sure you know all these answers and that will make you look like a pro RVer if you guys have any questions drop them in the comments don't forget to like share and subscribe and then head on over to Instagram and follow us at long haul lifesavers bye guys